This building has been the elephant in the room in the downtown core. The general consensus from the entire Cranbrook community was that it was impossible to fix the Armin Theatre. My family moved to Cranbrook in 1984. The Armin Theatre was the central nightlife hub, and so I'd come here to watch movies, and it was one of my favourite things in Cranbrook when I was a kid. After high school, Ferdy Belland spent 15 years in Vancouver chasing his dreams as a musician. When he eventually returned to Cranbrook in 2012, he would find the same theatre he loved so much as a kid, boarded up and forgotten. The building had been shut down for 12 years at that time because Landmark Cinemas built the, uh, the Cineplex over in the Tamarack Mall. Back then, I had a very clear, very detailed idea as to what the Armin Theatre could become. There's a lot of untapped energy in, in Cranbrook and in the area. There's a very particular type of experience uh, that people just aren't able to get here. Something where people are really able just to, to jump right into the action. In 2013, Belland would team up with a group of like-minded individuals to bring the theatre back to life. However, another investor would beat them to the punch. Four years later, he would try again, but the plan would fall through and Ferdy's dream was shelved once again. Every time I'd be in the downtown core, I would just walk by the Armin Theatre and there it is, you know, pigeons roosting on the marquee and, you know, the neon tubes breaking off the sign and dangling in the wind. So yeah, I had resigned that, okay, you know, I didn't want to break my heart anymore on it. With his vision gathering dust in the basements, another two years would pass when out of the blue, a pair of businessmen, Spencer Kerr and Casey Wright, would provide a glimmer of hope. I was hanging out with some friends and we were complaining that there's nothing to do. And they basically pointed out uh, the Armin Theater. I basically approached Casey. Casey's like, yeah, I'm game. Uh, who would we get involved? And it's like, there's only one person that you can get involved and that's Ferdy Belland. And the phone rings and it's Spencer Kerr saying, yeah, Ferdy, there's something very important we'd like to talk to you about. We didn't want to spook him. We didn't want to get him too excited. So we invited him up to the shop and we're like, so we're thinking about the Armand. <laughs> it was the only choice. He is the lifeblood in this town when it comes to live music entertainment. He is a ticketed carpenter. We've worked with him in the past. He can do the building of the project as well as the managing of the project once it's complete. I just said, okay, like, guys, thank you, but I have no money. I couldn't match like 30, 33% investment in this. And Casey and Spencer just said, no, no. He says, we don't need your money. We need your participation. So you're dialed in as a partner. I mean, I never won a lottery ticket, but that's as close as it gets. I signed my name on the deed. Now it was real. I immediately went home and I blew the dust off of everything that I had accumulated from the previous two partnerships. It's one of those pieces where everybody kind of goes, this is crazy. Uh, it's never gonna happen. And to be at a point where things are actually coming together and the project's moving forward, it's just incredibly exciting. With the reinforced roof and asbestos abatement now complete, the decades-long dream that many thought impossible is becoming very real. There's been a number of headaches, and there are some times, you know, when you grind your teeth, you know, and you just like, uh, and you snap awake at night with anxiety, but still, this is a labor of love. This has been a very real desire for me for over a decade now. When complete, Belland will lean on his years of experience within the live music scene in his new role as the theatre's managing director. I expect to be here 18 hours a day. Maybe I'll get three or four hours of sleep every night. And when the doors are open, come on in. So this is our favourite part of the bracing system installation process, is using what we like to call the Casatron 5000. 
which is a rigged up method of spinning these nuts really fast and not spending hours trying to spin nuts along a 10 foot through rod. Who knew you could have so much fun with a cordless drill and an old wagon wheel?